the crowd that I've always wanted to see at a TV show. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. The beautiful part, the beautiful part about this show is that it appeals to all people. Music, Latina, Latino music, rap, R&B, hip hop, actors and actresses oh, from Latino? everywhere. I didn't know you were Latino. Latino. Pero I have, I'm 9% black también. Ah. Pero it, it, you are an international pop star and superstar, so thank you. No, thank you. International. <laughs> what was it like when you had your first hit? What was that like when you first realized, oh, hey, man, I changed my sex life completely. But listen, I heard, I heard that, that you got rejected by a girl to go to the prom, that she I, said no. No, she said yes, and then two weeks before the prom, she said no. You know? But back, back then, I didn't have a hit song. <laughs> so uh, the minute I had a hit song, things changed. I know it, it's awful to say this, but... No, no, it, but where were you when you realized that things were not going to be the same anymore? Do you remember that, that um, place where you were? Okay. I was, in, I was in Argentina in a club, okay? <laughs> and suddenly, for the first time in my life, I used to go to clubs when I was 17, 18, always trying to, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't pick up a cold. So, um, and I was shy too, I was kind of shy. Suddenly I'd be sitting down and suddenly girls would start coming up to me. So what I did is called all my friends. I said, guys, you gotta come down here now, <laughs> now. I'm telling you, things have changed. And every country I went to, the minute you had a hit song, you know what fame is, come on, George. Before you were married, you know how things were. No, right? <laughs> no, 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 not me. Are you kidding me? I don't know. I was back at rehearsal. I was looking at you. I was thinking, seguro que Jorge en su tiempo, I could, you could tell you were a playboy back I in the day. <laughs> yeah, you know. And, and a lot of people before think. Before I was famous, I used to go by my other name, Fernando Valenzuela. So, <laughs> so let, 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 let's get a little bit to, to, to the business. First of all, you were born in Madrid, so congratulations because Spain won the World Cup. Very good. People, the funny thing is, People congratulate me like, hey, congratulations. I'm like, man, I didn't play. I'm just, I'm, I was just born in Spain. I was just, I'm very proud of the Spanish team. They did amazing. They did amazing. They did amazing. Okay, so being a huge soccer fan, you, you, you laid it all on the line for Spain. What was the bet that you made when you talked to somebody? They've asked me so, I feel stupid talking about it because they've asked me so much about it. When Spain lost against Switzerland in the first, uh, in the first game in the, in the World Cup, my friends were making fun of me. They like, oh, you said Spain was the best. I'm like, okay, you know what, if they win? Because back in high school, my friends and I, we used to get, I, I want to say we used to, I, I was not a, 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 a few drinks, drinks a few, a few cocktails. Drinks. You know, when you're, you know, 17, you, you have your first drink, your first tequila. And we used to get a little bit drunk and we used to ski naked in Biscayne Bay. Um, Late at night, but it, it wasn't so much about the skiing naked. It, it was more if you fall in the middle of the night. First of all, it hurts. Okay, it hurts a lot. Yeah. Depend, you, it, we ski, choose skis, spread eagle. Imagine you fall. <laughs> okay, so if you fall, and then uh, Miami's shark infested. It, it, I fly a little bit, so you, I fly around the coast, and the sharks everywhere. So the minute you, the minute you fall in the water, first of all, the boat's going to take a long time because to it's dark. Around. You cover yourself, you make sure, you pray to God that no one, no, you know, no shark's gonna come and bite it off. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, I only fell a few times, nothing happened, so I made a bet that, okay, if Spain wins, we're gonna go back to the days of high school and I'm gonna ski naked in Biscayne. But then I started reading all these things on the internet that I was gonna be arrested because it's indecent exposure, which it is, and I don't think anybody should be uh, ski naked. They always wear a vest and... <laughs> always wear a vest. <laughs> so, when did you start flying? I didn't know you flew. Uh, yeah, I fly. You fly? No, I, I, well, I, I, I fly, but I don't, I'm not a pilot. No, 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 no. I started, I started flying like about... Who's going to fly with me? They're gonna, I'm not getting on that plane. Come on. You know, that's a, I started flying eight years ago because I was afraid of flying and, and to get over the fear of that. And, and, and do you fly to gigs sometimes? I'm, I'm you fly a shitty to... pilot, so don't, don't. Whatever you do, do not get in a plane with me. You know, because I'm like, I don't even go to the, through the checklist. I just, I don't even know how I got my license. Are you a member of the Mile High Club? What, what does that mean? <laughs> All right. Good one, good one, good one. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no. I'm not. I'm so, not. so I'm another not. thing, that this, this picture shows up on, on TMZ. Let, let's show the picture. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on there? That wasn't recent either, was that it? That was before I went to the doctor and I wanted to show him the picture and I said, 
God, there's, there's something going on in my pants, and I got to show you. I'm kidding. That's during a show, but I do a lot of stupid things during shows. You see, that's, that's I'm and then sorry. He, here's, here's the next picture. Check this out. I'm not sure if you were checking to see if you had red eye or... No, I'm, I'm making sure that it's not, it's not focused, because that would end my career. Okay, so people always wonder, <laughs> what, what, what's wondering, where, where, did, where did the camera go? You know, people always wonder where the camera was. So we have a picture no, you're not. of the picture. Wait, wait, wait. We tracked it down. <laughs> how'd you, how'd, how'd you, look, and what is he doing? He's like trying to look at, he's, he's got his hand like that. He's ready to, like that. He's ready to, he's ready to climb a tree. What, what type? <laughs> Pretty small tree, huh? Kind of a tree. <laughs> so, when you sing, when you sing hero, you always pick somebody out of the audience. Not too. all the time, sometimes. We've had a guy get up. A dude, um, a dude stood up. Have you ever kissed up. a guy? Have you ever kissed a guy? Um, I did. I did. Um, I did a gig in uh in, in GAY, which is a big gay club in London. And by the way, it was one of the best audiences I've ever. I mean, it was it was great. They were really good. Hey! Yeah. For some reason, uh, it was, it was, I was a little intimidated because it was, it was a big club. It was about 3,000 men, pretty built. Uh, I'm a skinny guy. Um, and, but they were, so, they were so into it, and they were great. And I don't know. I, I, have, I, have, I have a pretty big gay audience, and, and I love them. They're, they're cool people. <laughs> they're, really, it's great. I, and, and you know what it is? They're, they're so loyal, and, they're, and, they're, and they love music, and... I have a lot of gay friends, so I'm not, you know, not intimidated. So you're not, you're not opposed to kissing a dude? It's not that, oh, well, I mean, I'm saying. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's. I, I mean, you mean like experimenting? Come on. Okay. <laughs> the music. You know, I, I, I don't usually. I, I don't, I don't. You know, I'm not, I'm not gay, George, but I got to say that if I was gay, <laughs> you'd be my kind of girl. Okay. <laughs> and, and I say that because I, I would think I'd be the guy in the yeah, relationship. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I would want you to be the guy. <laughs> <laughs> and when you come home, we're getting right to it. <laughs> All right, the new album is called Euphoria. This woman brought her, her thing for you. And we're gonna perform, I like it, with a tremendous artist, Pitbull. The man. Right? The man. So you did two videos for the song. One, one of them uh, had the cast of the Jersey Shore. Oh, the Jersey Shore. <laughs> why, do you, why do you laugh? Oh no. Oh wait, here. They're, but they're amazingly popular. They were, you know what, the cast? They were all, they were just on the show. Yeah, they were great. All of them were here. They were yeah. actually, they were very easy to work with, very professional. Were you a fan before? Uh, yeah, I actually liked the show, but a lot of people thought there was going to be like chaos going on and fighting and drama. <laughs> These guys were extremely professional, easy going, and, and very down to earth. Earth, well, earth. So, earth, <laughs> earth, earth. You know, I, I kind of see you with someone like Snooki. I don't know why. 